Most of us from time to time grind or clench our teeth. But when this occurs on a regular basis, this condition called bruxism can cause severe damage to our teeth and also be the cause of often very painful health implications in the body. While you might think you're sleeping soundly at night, you might be taking your stress out on your teeth. Teeth grinding can affect your dental and physical health in ways you'd never expect. Doctor, why does teeth grinding and jaw clenching occur? Jaw clenching and teeth grinding occurs and is the symptom of a much bigger complex problem called bruxism. This bruxism is, is a, f a complex phenomenon because we're sitting with a very complex system. Now this system develops from a very early age and there's many habits for instance like dummy sucking or thumb sucking and then of course the way we breathe and the way that we swallow that have an effect on the system. Most of us end up with what we call a non-functional system which are symptomless but the moment we add a little bit of stress on the system the symptoms start and this is what we see every day. We see people with headaches, we see people with severe problems coming from the joints and then of course the destruction of the teeth. Can bruxism be linked to other problems in other parts of the body like migraine or muscle aches and pains? Yes, absolutely. And I think this is where this, 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 this phenomenon is underestimated by a lot of people. They don't even know that they've got this problem. So for instance, headaches, tension headaches in the morning, spasmed up muscles. We end up with, with ringing in the ears. We end up with bad tastes in our mouth. And then of course, the big issue here is the system. And of course, all the muscles are related. So we have a lot of back pain. We have a lot of neck pain. We have destruction of the bone, uh, destruction of the teeth, and everything that it has an effect on. And so, yes, it should not be underestimated. The condition is the third most common form of sleep disorder. After sleep talking and snoring, it can even affect your partner's sleep. So getting help is a good idea. What does the treatment involve? So the treatments are based around getting an accurate diagnosis and that's obtained through a medical history and quite an extensive physical examination. We then work on removing the relevant restrictions within the body and that's done by soft tissue massage and stretching, exercises and joint manipulation and mobilization. There are a few common ways to treat bruxism, wearing a mouth guard and stress release exercise being two of them. Newer, more holistic approaches are also emerging for bruxism sufferers. Why is a holistic approach so important when it comes to the treatment of bruxism and TMD? Bruxism is something that has so many aspects to causing it and the effects of TMD on the rest of the body is so vast that if you just focus on one aspect of the problem you're not going to get to the bottom of the problem so then I look at the cause of it um, and then the relation to the neck to the shoulder to the lower back and then also what effect it has on the symptoms so headaches low back pain shoulder pain and neck pain Bruxism can lead to fractured teeth or even damage to the joint which connects the upper and lower jaws. Its complications aren't to be taken lightly. If you suspect you might be suffering from bruxism, it's best to consult your dental practitioner to avoid long-term health problems and ensure a good quality of life.